Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. We're here at the Claremont Collection today. That's Claremont with a K, Collections with a K. And it's a private museum, but we're getting the chance to show you some of the specific cars in here and give you great detail on them. I'm here with Andrew Vogel. Good to see you, Lou. My buddy here who's a vice president in sales and marketing, and he's got uh, going to tell you all about the Claremont Collection, and he'll give an intro to this car. All right, so here we are today in the Claremont Collection. We're a little over 300 automobiles in about 100,000 square feet uh, on two floors here in the city of Chicago. Now, private, but you can go to the website and take a look, right? ClaremontCollections.com yep. or .org. Either way, we're on both, so help yourself either way. Um, closed to the public, but open for private events. So if, uh, if you've got a big group or a corporate group, uh, charities, we'd love to have you. Um, but for the time being, in place of that, for now, Lou's here, and we're going to take you through a few cars. Here's one today that I bet you haven't seen before, but maybe have heard of. So here's an Amphicar, a 1964 Amphicar. This one pristine, lovely, and <laughs> said to have been owned by Lyndon Johnson himself, well, the President of the United States. So uh, let's Not take a bad. Look. Right. Take it's a good look. enough for the President. <laughs> it's good enough for the collection. Thank you, Ashley. I'll grab the camera. You know, here is the car. And... Just I want to show that plaque on the wall. It's a car, it's a boat, it's the car of the future here today. So let's take a look in 1964. I think the first year for these was like 61. They made them for a few years. And as you can see, the front end of it, you guessed it, is a boat. So this is kind of the idea before James Bond had it to drive a car into the water. This was it. So this is one of those cars, transparently, that I wanted to do a video on because I couldn't get it out of my head after I saw it. I mean, it truly is. It's got the boat lights, the boat horn. Let's show it to you from the side. It's got a little bit of fins in the back to show you the cars at that time frame. And now we're going to show you... There's actually and Fibicar logo. And there's some people who absolutely adore these cars. They're just did a great job taking care of them. So they're gonna love this video. And look well, at, it, the whole car is an interesting engineering feat, actually. Um, it's, it's boat light. Besides being uh, just kind of cute and clever, it was actually quite something to build a car that had a hull. Uh, and, and obviously a waterproof one at that. You see the propellers down there. And, and so we, here, here we have a car that you can drive uh, to, the, to the water and then drive right into the water and keep going. Uh, it's quite an interesting piece of work. Rear engine, uh, small four-cylinder engine. Let's take a engine. look at that while we're right here. All locked down and sealed, like here's a lock. We've opened it so we can show it to you now. Here we are, you see the radiator back here. You saw the cooling fins perhaps on the rear deck. Uh, so that everything stays nice and cool and yet up away from the water. And here you have the four-cylinder nestled into the... I mean, it, it could be a boat just as easily the way it's all here configured back here. here. Exhaust over here that comes out the pipe here. Wow. Look at this. I'm already sharing with Andrew that maybe we'll get a second video one day of this thing in the water. We'll take it out for a spin. <laughs> He's not buying it just yet, but let me work yeah. with him a little bit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking, Lou, we can't lose that one. There's actually, I believe there's some writing on that. Give me just a second and let the high See def camera. See if you can get tighter, maybe I can get you some light yeah. on too. There we go. Does that help a little bit? Yeah, there, it does. Right? Actually, let me let the camera kind of catch up. There we go. And people can pause on that. Okay. But this is, we got the battery right here. The drivetrain. Look at the drivetrain down there. Wow. Wow. Okay. And here's our bilge pump. Don't forget that. Yeah. Because, like any boat, it's uh, never quite waterproof, is it? So there's the pump to pump out the water back here. Right out here. Great. Let's close this. Let's take a look at the. I'll walk around this way and we'll take a look at the. Interior. Little back seat. I'm not sure how many people you want in your boat. Pretty thin little doors. Waterproofed plastic down here. There's your pedals and your clutch. Looks like a Volkswagen kind of steering wheel. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. It does. The Wolfsburg, right? Yeah. I'm not sure what all those gauges are. Somebody on YouTube can tell us what they are. Look at this warning before boating. Put bulge plug in. Just as a reminder to make sure you don't sink. And then you listen to your radio when you're out there. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. Look at the, the vent there on the Can side. You see, hey, open that door again, Lou, because I think people would be interested to see. You've, you've got the, the hardware on the inside of the door. You see the door oh, opener yeah. and you see the window crank, but that, yes, you just had it there. Yep, that one there is the rear door seal uh, that must be locked closed for boating. Wow. It's I'm, part of the warning placard here is you know, number three on the list is lock those doors. So I'm glad you pointed that out. I would have missed that. Um, let's take a look under the front. And while we're about to pop this hood. Again, these are, these are locked down in, in the watertight seal. I've just opened them so that we can get at them right now. Let's take that piece of wood out for just a second so we can kind of. Yeah, you can see the, the, the body's seen a little water in there. We got a little rust uh, to deal with on this one. Um, and it's been left alone because it's really very original. Uh, the car's not been repainted and redone in any way uh, since, uh, since its inception. So it's kind of neat to, uh, to see it. It could use a little maintenance probably at, at some point. Uh, but we don't intend to take it into the water anymore. So, <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I know. Lou thinks we're going to do it. All stuff. right. <laughs> but so far, I haven't been I'll convinced. back <laughs> off. Okay, let's put that in there. While he's closing that up, I just want to show you. There's, I'll get the glare off that. There's President Johnson driving the car. And here's some of the advertising at that time. I'm not sure exactly how much water skiing you're going to do, but it shows some of the features. There's the car in a boat. Here's the assembly plant. The all important technical details that you can lock in on as you go. Here's somebody on a little boogie board behind it. Your mermaid in the car. That happens all the time. <laughs> and then I like that shot. How oh, it's coming out of the water. I think it's done. And there's your article of what we had. So hopefully some of that car history will help you out. Andrew, stand right next to that. Boat car. <laughs> Andrew, I couldn't stop thinking about this car after I seen it. So thanks so much for taking the time and letting us view the Amphibicar. Always a pleasure, Lou. Great to see you.